So it's nothing new and shouldn't be a shocker that I'm making another e-bike video. This is like the one and done. What is the best e-bike you should buy? Going over all of the e-bikes that I have. It's honestly comical at this point how many e-bikes I have. This video is actually sponsored by Velotrick, which sent me over two of their new e-bikes. These being the Nomad 1, the high step version, and then the step through version right here. But I'm gonna rewind a couple days ago, getting these bikes built up and showing you guys how easy it is. So anytime in the video, all the links will be in the description for these bikes if you wanna check them out. Velotrick makes it super easy, having pretty much the whole bike assembled in the box as you take it out. They give you a full list of instructions. If you wanna see step by step how to build this thing, they give you all the tools you would need to put the whole bike together so you're not gonna have to worry about having your own tools. Have everything in the box laid out, ready to go. So you can easily probably put this thing together and I'd say, 15 20 minutes the handlebars on the front make sure wheel. everything's tight put the screen on put the pedals on then you're pretty much ready to go and ready to ride this thing i mean the two bikes it took me about 25 minutes to get them built up the hardest part is honestly getting all the trash into the boxes and getting it out of your way but i'd be pretty confident to say that anybody can really put these things together and the last thing you got to do is put the battery in it comes with a little bit of a charge turn the bike on and you're ready to go ride so there's so many different bikes to choose from everyone is kind of different i'm going to give you the rundown of each one we have the more like dirt bike style ones on the end. So if you're looking to buy an e-bike, you can kind of decide what you want and what's gonna be best for you. So this Velotrek Nomad 1 can pretty much do anything you want from riding off-road, on-road, it's great in all terrains, and is one of their most versatile and powerful e-bikes. It has a 750 watt peak performance motor with a peak of 1200 watts with a super smooth, effortless riding experience. It has 50% longer range, giving you about 55 miles on a single charge. It has both the pedal assist feature along with just the thumb throttle. If you don't wanna pedal at all, you can just hold down the throttle. You got this super nice three and a half inch backlit LCD display, which gives you all your speed and what power mode you're in it has some good adjustable front suspension it has some really good hydraulic disc brakes so that's the run over on the velotrick nomad one both of these are pretty much the same besides just the high step low step whatever you prefer i don't have anybody to ride with me today but ideally you should pick up two of these bikes so you and a friend could ride you and the old lady can ride it makes it a lot more fun you guys can go adventure around so let's go test this thing out rip it around and see what this thing can do all right we'll get this thing turned on and i'm gonna go right up to power level five so i can pretty much in power level five I've just used the throttle. I don't have to uh, pedal. I prefer, I could just kind of cruise around. Ooh. Actually, it goes up the hills a lot better than I thought. This thing rips. Ooh. It does pretty good off-road too, honestly. The suspension feels good. Get into some sand over here. This thing rips through this stuff pretty good. <laughs> so much fun. Ooh. Oh. Well, it can handle a crash. I <laughs> mix up from the front brake to the rear brake because my Saran is rear brake, front brake. I think it can handle a crash. Ooh, thing, thing gets over stuff pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so fun. 30 degrees out right now, so I am freezing. And I can't wait till the summer to be able to rip these things around. It's gonna be so much fun. Get a whole crew together with how many bikes I have. We have like 15 people riding at the same time, which will be hilarious to see alone. Surprisingly too, it's got a lot of torque. Thing just wants to wheelie up on you, honestly. I'm definitely super impressed with the build quality on it too. Like the fit and finish is way better than a lot of other e-bikes. It just feels a lot more solid. Or some of them kind of feel janky and sketchy. Like this thing riding it, I can tell like it feels like an actual legit mountain bike. Brakes especially are good. That's super important to me. They have good brakes. These things are snappy. They lock up the wheels. I'm really impressed with this thing. Honestly, it's super good. Woo, coming in hot. A little dirt from when I laid it down. Guess that's the best way to break it in. Step through version is pretty much the same thing. This version will probably be better for your girlfriend, mom. But this bike, same deal, power on. It's got all the same modes you can kind of go through. And uh, you can also just use the throttle on this one or pedal. Looks like we can almost go on the pond right now. It's all frozen. This is probably super thin though. It's probably like two inches thick. Still not even frozen out there yet. Wish it was a little warmer so I could go cruise it in the city, hit some urban, some stairs, and we have to come back in the spring once I get out there to be able to test these things out more. I think cruises too, even in the grass. So these things are more than capable to do everything you gotta do. Like I said, I'll have them linked below in the description if you wanna check out Velotrek and pick yourself up a new e-bike. These things are definitely where it's at for sure. Next up, we have the Himalay Cobra Pro. This is more like a full suspension. It has this whole pivot system like my track actually does. So if you push down, the suspension's gonna move with it. And uh, the difference with this one is it's a normal hub and then it has 
the motor in the middle, it's gonna feel a little bit different than some of these other e-bikes that have the traditional hub motor. But unfortunately, the Himaway is about double the price as the Velotrek. We got this full suspension Himaway we'll test out quick. And the power level five. <laughs> and this thing rips too. These e-bikes are too much fun. Woo. Sounds like I gotta tie down my front brake line it's hitting the spokes or I'm not gonna fully ride each bike but you get the idea they're all and then coming down the list a lot of these are pretty much the same hub motor they all kind of have the similar specs um, they have all pretty much have interchangeable batteries that you can charge and then all have like an LCD screen on them so it comes down if you want a bigger fat tire or a road tire all of these down the line are gonna get pretty much similar range um, these electric bikes right here actually fold up which makes it pretty cool for people that travel so the single literally fold in half the bars will fold down and uh, you can throw it in the back of a car back of a small truck so these things are pretty convenient for people that don't really need a huge bike but still want to be able to commute get around and have an electric bike so these things are pretty cool they have a little back rack so you could strap stuff onto and i've had these bikes for a while these are probably the most basic electric bikes just the hub motor um standard battery that comes on and off the screen and coming down to the kubrick ranger i've only posted one video on this this thing's actually really cool all right, now I'm on the Cooper. Just met up with Mike on the Suron. Yep. And then of course we have the Suron X. This is probably one of the most popular electric dirt bikes right now. I have the Moto set up on there. I've tried the sand paddle tire like the Alta if you missed the last video. And then obviously the Alta. Full on dirt bike obviously and can't buy these anymore. The newest one coming out was the Stark Varg, which will be similar to this, full electric dirt bike, take it to the track. So overall, there's no like one bike is the best bike. It all depends on what you're trying to do, what kind of riding you wanna do. Um, honestly, I if you just want to cruise around, the Velotrek is your best option. To get around town, you can hit some jumps on them. You can go in the dirt, you can go on the street. This is probably the best overall bike for somebody to buy that doesn't have a huge budget like the Suron and some other electric dirt bikes. So regardless, I'll leave everything linked below in the description if you want to check out any of these bikes. Hopefully by this video, you can decide what bike is best for you. You're hopefully going to pick yourself up an e-bike soon. If you're new and you want to see more e-bike videos, make sure you're subscribed. And once again, thank you to Velotrek for sponsoring this video and getting me set up with these two sweet